How? Merakiti. By his books. He translated and he wrote so many books and distributed. <coughs> All the girls and boys inspired by him, they used to go to airports, they used to go to seaport, they used to go to restaurants and colleges here and there. Huh? Colleges everywhere on the street, on the market, everywhere, shop to shop. And to do Nagar Sankirtan and book distribution. If there was no book distribution, not so fast preaching in the whole world. So, due to this, he <coughs> preached his mission. Everyone knew very easy books, very authentic books. Srimad Bhagavat and all very easy books like Easy Journey to Other Planets and so many Upadesh Amrit, Nectar of uh, and the other books he wrote, myself also doing like so. I have written about hundred and more than that books and coming more authentic books also. Bhakti Goswami Sindhu Ujjwal Nin Mani Buryat Bhagavat Amritam Srimad Bhagavatam Tenth Kanto and others he has, what he has given in uh, he has uh, kept for me remnants. Remnants kept for me. He has kept. <coughs> so I want that my all little girls, daughters, sons, or oh, the uh, disciples of Siddha Prabhupada also have should help in this. So that our mission should be as it was in the time of Siddha Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj. We have some plans for this. And uh, Nishan Prabhu and uh, Radha Khan Prabhu will speak about this. Then by class. So there's some very exciting developments in book distribution over the last year that we wanted to announce. I encourage all the devotees to take part more and more in the transcendental Sankirtan Yagna of book distribution. One of the things that Gurudev has encouraged is that unlike in the early days when the devotees would not necessarily read so much or understand the book so much but do massive amounts of book distribution and themselves becoming somewhat weak in so much contact with non-devotees and so forth. He wants us to understand these books. He wants us to read these books, to study these books, to practice and to also preach at the same time. Not so, only distribute it, but practice and read themselves and know the es essence of all these books and to distribute them. One of the things we're doing in the Bay Area is we have a weekly uh, meeting. We're studying Jaiva Dharma every week. We take a chapter every week and we study it very thoroughly. And I know some other devotees are doing this. It's very enlivening to get together and study the books uh, chapter by chapter, page by page, point by point, and become enlivened in them. And then when we go to distribute and we go to explain, we know something and we have some realization. So I'd like to encourage all the devotees to please try this. Uh, you can start your own study group, go through uh, Upadesha Amrita, Shikshastakam, Jaya Dharma especially, and read the books together in your Sangha. And so many things come out and so many good points come out. Also, uh, Jagmal Mahaprabhu in the LA Temple is doing a very wonderful job in distributing many books. Thank you. A lot of
lot of uh, old-fashioned street distribution. They're doing very good volume. Also in New Zealand, Bhakti Samaraj and uh, Aranya Maharaj and other devotees, there's a team of about seven men and six women and Sajjan Maharaj who are traveling all over with festivals, New Age festivals and other ways on the street doing Harinam, uh, distributing books, very, very large quantities of books. So that's also very enlivening. Costa Rica also, streets in Spanish books. Haribo! Uh, we recently donated a large pallet of books to a prison program where Gurdjieff's books are going to about 80 different prisoners around the country, so they're also reading Gurdjieff's books. Yeah. Vishwam Barbabu, I'd like to introduce him if you can stand up one second. He is acting as a uh, coordinator of book distribution, helping me and the GVP to, we have the warehouse in Northern California, the books go all over the world. So he's been in communication with all the regional distributors, doing accounting, doing a lot of emails and encouraging. And uh, he's also distributing books to his friends, his family, his mother, his brother, his sister, everyone. And he said a very good Store.com, which is being developed, and there's some very exciting plans which are going to be revealed how all the devotees can be involved in book distribution through that internet site, and that will be revealing later. We've established a, a network of regional distributors around the world, and these are devotees who have taken responsibility to warehouse at least two cases of all of Srila Gurudev's titles that are available plus many of Srila Prabhupada's books also, all the original uh, writings of Srila Prabhupada, Bhagavad Gita, Krishna book, Krishna Reservoir Pleasure, etc. So we encourage you to please contact your local regional distributor They're in the back of all the books to get books at a very low cost. We're talking about practically right next to the printing cost. You can take some books, you can distribute to your friends, to your family, and this way, help a very important mission. I know Srila Gurudev works very hard translating, writing every day, as did Srila Prabhupada and all of our Rupa Nuga Guru Varga to establish Gaudiya Vaishnav Siddhanta in this world through publication. So the way that we can assist them is to do our small part and take some of these books and distribute them ourselves. So, that's what we, read, we need right now, basically, is more help. Because uh, there is a large stockpile of books. There's more books coming out all the time. And if everybody would just take an effort to distribute a few books, so many books would be distributed. Also in Hawaii here, it was very badly needed one person to be the regional distributor. All right, great. <laughs> so thank you very much. Hare Krishna. There are a few other programs that uh, we, I just thought I'd mention because I saw them on your list. Nuri Hari Prabhu and Baba Charini have started a program of placing Bhagavad Gita's in all the hotel rooms in Hawaii. <laughs> Ramesh Ompa was in the hotel. And he opened the drawer, and there is Bhagavad Gita. Wow. Also, 
also, there's a very ecstatic story. Upananda Prabhu has been distributing to some of the New Age bookstores. And he sold, he sold to the Bodhi tree some Jaiva Dharmas. One person went into this Bodhi tree and he was looking, he looked. Oh, in the Krishna conscious section, a new, a new line of books. They're used to the old, you know, just the BBT books. So he's like, what's this? And he sees Jaiva Dharma, and he recognizes Bhakti Vinod Thakur's picture from the BBT books. And he goes, oh, I gotta read this. So he read the book, he called Jagmohan the next day, Jagmohan told him to come down, and now he's a Srila Gurudev's initiated disciple. <laughs> No, I think he... Go Mohan. Go, go Mohan. And he lives in Los Angeles. So he'll, he'll, he actually comes to the festivals and everything. He just, he's in Los Angeles. He works, he has a regular job and everything like that. So... <laughs> it, it's for anybody. He still has a regular job. We gotta get him why they still have money in their pockets. <laughs> And then I also wanted to announce. <laughs> well, Shri Gurudev regularly says, "You join him and you become a homeless beggar." <laughs> and it's quite funny because after a while you kind of feel like that. You may not have no money, but somehow or another you still have money for the books. <laughs> So, we also wanted to let all the devotees know, Gurudev is working practically day and night to produce these books. Of the highest quality. The highest nectar. So I just wanted to show you the last two we did. If you've been at the book table, you see Prabhandavali and Upadeshamrita. We also have some signed and numbered copies. Thank you, Shri Gurudev. And, uh, for the record, I've been Regularly, I know what's coming out because I have to go and get print quotes for it. So I've already been asked to quote a batch of six new books coming out, and then two more mass distribution titles coming out, which should be ready by this summer, Badger Festival. Uh, I don't think they the way of love. The way of love. And the undiscovered self. And then there's a real exciting development, especially for me, because every time I see Sri Lugurdev, even though he's so merciful to me, he only has really one question for me. Where is Braj Mandala Parikama? The coffee table book. So we have one devotee here who small. Raghunath Das Prabhu has engaged a photographer all over Braj Mandala Perkama, and we are working to come out with a either one book or an entire series of books of Braj Mandala Perkama. So you'll get a book. Shishi Radha Kund and Shama Kund, Govardhan, Vrindavan, coming out one, next. So these are in the works. You want a small one? Rajana not one so small one, so we got to make Rajana. <laughs> and uh, so we would just like to encourage the devotees to stop by the book table. It's the last couple of days of the festival, and I always have a rule. I do not bring any books back. <laughs> so I need you to come to the book table. Let's make a deal. <laughs> Uh, we're working on that. That's a, supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> so uh, we have met, Gurudev is working so hard. So many books are coming out. There will be so many more by Badger. Uh, big coffee table books coming. And then, of course, we're all waiting, waiting anxiously for Srimad Bhagavatam 10th Canto. <laughs> and, and when I heard that Gurudev was going to do it, for many, many years, I could never understand why did Srila Prabhupada leave and not finish the 10th canto. He promised us he would finish the 10th canto. 
And now I realize he saved it for Srila Guru Day. Bevo! So stop by the book table. Book distribution key. Mama Shastam Manumapi Sachi Putramatra Sarupam Rupam Tasya Prajuri Purim Matarim Ghost Vatim Radha Kundam Gilder Maho Radha Kama Rasa Rato Jasa Pratit Kripea Sikurun Tangin Pushmi Bancha Kalpataru Vesha Kripa Sindhu Evacha Patitanam Pavanityo Vaishnavityo Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prima Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauravati Shaya Gurave Gaurachandraya Radhikaya Itamale Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tadabhakta Yanam Yang Praprajanta Manupetam Apeta Trityam Dvaipanyano Virahaka Tariyajuha Putri Titan Maitaya Tarvo Vinedu Tang Sarva Bhutari Tayam Munimam Tasmi Tavai Vasmi Tavai Vasmi Najivami Toyabina Iti Bhigai Radhe Tamne Mahatma Very hard for you. Obisins and Jindil, not a state of mind. Guru Patpad Mohan Vishnu Pad Sri Srimad Bhakti Pradhyan Kesav Vashtami Nara. In the same in the Lord's feet of my Siksha Guru, Om Vishnu Pash Ismat Bhakti, Vedant Swami Maharaj. Now, I want that you should come on the point that I left yesterday. Yeah. What? Oh, he has told about it. No need to. And I thought I should finish anyhow I want to finish. And it is very, very warm. So he has, Madhav Maharaj has told about Advaita Sai. He only brought Chaitanya Mahaprabhu so soon. It may be that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had come, would have come, or in the last of Kaliju. But Chait Advaita Charge called him very soon and he came in the beginning of Kaliji. And also he played a very good role in Sankirtan. He inspired the body so much in our deep and everywhere in world. He went to Vrindavan, he went to Mithila, he met with uh, uh, Vidyapati and all others. He was too aged person. He was the oldest person in all at that time. <coughs> so we go down to his lotus feet and he should inspire us in Krishna. I have told about Hanuman, he was Premi Bhakti. He wanted to embrace Ram, but could be. He wanted to give sweetest things, his remnants, but he could not do it. Because he knew that Ram Chandra is himself Supreme Lord. So he never did like so. Whereas Pandavas, Pandavas are called Prem for Bhakti. Most superlative people. They are actually <coughs> not servant. Oh, 
they are also servant and also like father mother of Krishna, like Yudhishthi Maharaj, like Laukik Bandhuva. Laukik Bandhuva means and intimate like worldly father, mother, friend and most people. There was Sakha. You know that Once uh, Arjun was going anywhere with Krishna and Krishna told that to bring some water and he went to the river to bring water and there she, he saw a very big monkey and the, this monkey was Hanuman. Then Hanuman asked, Who are you? I am servant of Sri Ramachandra. Huh? Then Arjun told, Ram was not so strong and not archer, good archer. archer? <laughs> I am more powerful than him. He uh, made a full bridge on ocean. Oh, by the help of monkey, he could not do himself. If I, I was at that time, I would have made a bridge of arrows very concrete and very, very strong. But Hanuman told that breeze cannot take the load of my one finger's weight. <laughs> then, oh, I'm doing. And then at once in a moment, Arjun took his bow and arrow and constructed a bridge over that river. Very, very strong. Now one man was thinking, really, this is very strong bridge. <laughs> what to do? At once, he jumped up him away and he became very bigger size. And his hope, one man, Oh, yes. He binded from my big, big mountains and in his hand he took big mountain like on Mount Everest and he returned back. And then Arjun became very worried. What to do? Then he began to chant Krishna, Oh Krishna, oh, save me, save me, otherwise all will laugh upon me. That this is the question of my prestige. And Hanuman, he was praying Ram. Oh Ram Prabhu, Shiyabha Ram Chandra Ki Jai. So, you should keep my prestige. This is the matter of prestige for you. I have no prestige, but for you. <laughs> Save me. And both were praying. Then Hanuman gave one step on the bridge. But nothing was done. Oh, it was safe. safe. <coughs> then Hanuman thought that why? And then he took his another step. But at once he saw that blood was coming on, on, in the river. Then he jumped up and looked up. 
he saw the Ram has given his back oh, to support the bridge. And at once Arjuna also saw that Krishna has given his back to support the bridge. In this way, only one Krishna he became Ram and he became Krishna and saved both. Then Hanuman, um, Krishna told to Hanuman, oh, in the form of Ram, that I am going to be Krishna and a big battle will take place. I will be the charioteer of his chariot and you should come with me on his flag. And when he did, you should disarm the enemy's arrow. Understand? If any dangerous situation and any arrow is coming, oh, you should give the chariot underground and after that you should sometimes you should row and there should be their end will be gone like he did at the time of Karna and Vishnu Pitama and others so you will have to serve my friend Arjun like I am serving I am giving message to the horses of the chariot of Arjun and driving his chariot and serving him so you will have to serve. So Arjun, he, Yudhishthi, all are Shaha of Krishna. Yudhishthi has so many relations and he is called uh, yeah. Haridas Vajra, Haridas, with family, whole family, mother and she, all are serving Krishna. So we should be like Pandavas, not this. You know that in the battle of uh, Mahabharat, Krishna said many times Arjun. Even he had to adopt so many tricks. There are so many Lord fast stories in Mahabharata. And once Arjun went to uh, Dwarka and he saw the sister of Baladev Prabhu and Krishna, Subhadra. She was teeny as a very beautiful, very qualified, and he was attracted. In the same time, Subhadra was also attracted to Arjun because he was like Krishna. Very qualified. In archery, Krishna is telling that I am himself Arjun in archery. And he has so many quiet qualities. So she was attracted. But Baldev Prabhu did not want it that Subhadra should be married to Arjun. Subhadra should be married to my disciple Bhikkhu Durjodhan. He liked Durjodhan. So he wanted, but no one has dared to tell Baldev that change your decision. And you should also support the marriage of Arjun and Subha. But anyone, Devaki, Vasudev, even they, they used to fear with Baldev. <coughs> 
then he decided a date for marriage for with Durjodhan. But it was against the will of whole Jadav dynasty. At that time, Arjun did a click with Krishna and Arjun became sannyasi like us without any garment and anything with danda, three danda and he came to Dwarka. Anyone could not recognize him except Krishna. And he, out of the city, Dwarka city, on the bank of ocean, he began to take samadhi. Samadhi, you know? Yes. Trons and chon. Remember it. All Dwarkapur Vasi, they were attracted to new sannyasi and they used to come in line to see this new sannyasi. Very powerful, very attractive, very beautiful. So all began to come. Baldev Prabhu also came and he did pranam to sannyasi. He could not recognize. Then Arjun told, uh, my blessings to you. Kalyanam bhava. Kalyanam bhava. Like this. And then he went. Then he sent also Suvadra go and take benediction of, from Nusan Nasi. And Krishna had arranged everything. She went on chariot where this new sannyasi was and he did pranam, she did pranam to at once this a chariot was there by the click of Krishna and at once that sannyasi with a dandahi sat down on the chariot <laughs> and he took the hands of Subhadra Devi and he pulled him, her on the chariot and gave the rain of horses in the hands of Subhadra and Subhadra was driving the chariot and Krishna was fighting, uh, Arjun was fighting. Then at once Baldev Prabhu took his mushal and hall and mushal and to plow and club to kill Arjun. He knew that he is Arjun. And then he ran after him with his whole army. Then Krishna told, where you are going? I am going to return back my sister and to kill Arjun. <coughs> Why? What offense he has done? You, you have did, you have did in past same Offense, like when I went to Rukmini, you were the most uh, fighter and commander-in-chief of my whole army. Huh? I was doing against the will of Rukmini and all others. Huh? And when <coughs> Sam went to, to Durjodhan house, Hastinapur, he was very attracted to the daughter of Durjodhan and he wanted to marry with her but Durjodhan did not lie. So anyhow he also took forcibly that girl of Durjodhan and he was coming but Vishampitama and all other Karna Durshasan, all charioters, big big, they fought and they captured. Then Baldev Prabhu with Uddhav went there Hastinapur. Oh, why you are doing so? You should return back, otherwise I will pull on my plow whole Hastinapur and I will sink in Jamna. And then he took his down all the sinking. And then they brought Lakshman and some samba and they presented with so many presentations. You have done like so. 
So why you are going through? You are saying that uh, Arjun is not a uh, kidnapping, but uh, Subhadra is kidnapped to Arjun. <laughs> oh, you have concealed everything to me. Now I knew all you want that she should be married with Arjun. Oh yes, Arjun, 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 come on, come on. <laughs> and Krishna told <coughs> that now they are married. If you will kill Arjun, then your sister will be widowed. Don't do like so. Better you should invite Arjun and get married properly. And then Arjun was called and so how near and dear? Though the Pandavas, Mother Kunti, and you know about Draupadi, how I, I told anyone a story here about Draupadi, Vishampitama, that how he saved Pandavas by giving benediction to Draupadi. So, Krishna is servant. Krishna is friend, Krishna is father of Pandava. But one thing, Dharati goes to Prem, Sneh, somewhat sad of Anurag, not to Anurag. But the friends of Raja, like Dham, Sridham, Madhumangal and the others, oh, they are Friendship goes up to the stage of Prem of Anurag and especially Siddham and Madhmangal and Sivan. It's reached to the Mahabhav somewhat and other. So Pandavas love and affection in the stage of Prem Sneh and somewhat shadow of Anurag, not Anurag. So they are very high class of devotees. They can control Krishna, Draupadi, Kunti Mala, and other. But there is something like what? They cannot be sent to Braja. They cannot, they are not qualified to go to Braja. But there is one qualified person in both Dwarka and Hastinapur. Who is he? Uddhav. <coughs> can be sent. Krishna saw when he left the brother, always weeping. Always weeping in the separation of two. And Prajabasi, father, mother, Nanda and Jasoda. Our friends, for Govardhan, for Jamuna, always feeling so much separation, pain, bigger, and weeping. Even you can see in Brihat Bhagavatam Vritam, it will come very soon, that Krishna pillow and bed are wetted with tears. Sometimes he becomes fine. Sometimes <coughs> pulling the bell of Rukmini and Satyamama, O oh Radhike, why you are you angry with me? Please be merciful. O oh Nanda Baba, O oh cows, cows, O oh Giridaj Vardhan, O oh my friends, where are you are? Like this. So you you should know the heart of Krishna. In Braja, all the gopis and Prajapasi are feeling separation. But there are millions of gopis, millions of Prajapasi. They try to console each other by dividing their separation mood. Understand? Huh? By sharing. If there is a flaw, 
the river distribute the water everywhere so gopis are distributing each other by speaking and concern like lalita bisakha are consoling to radhika is not in sense but lalita bisakha in sense oh krishna will come when he will come oh he is in your heart like chaitanya mahaprabhu told in my heart oh stop You know the history of the separation of gopis. They become mad. Dibbyonma. You know Dibbyonma. Out of madness, like Dibbyonma, they weep bitterly and sometimes become angry. And they see that Krishna is here in the form of cloud or tamal which and they quarrel with him. And they abuse. Any black person if they are seen. Even a bamboo bees, and they are quarrelling and oh, what chastising! Hmm? We cannot be with Krishna, very big cheater. For him, we have become straight beggar, and thus weeping so much. Anyhow, they are sharing their separation not to each other because there are millions of bridge barsings. Nanda Baba. Jasoda, there are so many neighbors who can console them. So they are saying, but who is with Krishna in Dwarka and Mathura who can console Krishna? They don't know the heart of Krishna, how he was in Braja, how the Braja Masi were serving. So <coughs> Krishna is only weeping. With melting hearts, always burning in the fire separation. No one, none was there to console Krishna. Only weeping himself. So here, the fire separation of Krishna was alone. He was no one to console. console. So he told, he thought. That I soon said, I cannot go there. There are so many regions. It will be long history if I will tell the region. So I cannot return back now <coughs> to Braja. So I should send Uddha. He will go in the school and college of Gopis, and there he will be admitted. And there he should learn and study what is love. Though prem in Sanskrit language or Dhai Yaksha, two and half letters, prem. But whole world, Krishna, Gop, Gopis, and everyone can sink in this love and affection of this world. So he should go there, and he told weeping, "Oh, the when he returned back from his guru griha sandipni, and then Krishna was weeping bitterly. He saw Braj, that cows are dying, dying cows are dying, peacocks no singing, uh, dancing, cuckoos no singing." Oh, deers not taking grass. All the Brajbasi has become like blind. Nanda Baba blind. Mother Jaso Damalya Skelter. <coughs> It is very hard to save Braj. So Gopis are calling Krishna. Or, oh Krishna, hey Brajnath, Brajnath Tinasana. Samudhara Govinda Gokul Bhard Bhijnevar. Oh Krishna, you are Gokul, life of the Gopu. You should come at once. All the Gokul and the all the lives of Gokul are sinking in separation mode. 
we will die if you are not coming. Come and save us, save us, like this. So Krishna did not want his Saint Uddha or Saint Uddha Yusuf Uddha. <coughs> Evan Kirtan Krishna like this. Pal Karenge. Here I come to separation. Here I come. They are each other copies and prajvasi, weeping and consoling. Oh, now Braj is saying, but we are not uh, happy in this situation. All are dying in this separation room. And all gopis are weeping and singing by this thing. Krishna went Mathura and Daraka from Braj 
and all gopis, they are feeling so much separation mood and lamenting so much. Like you have heard from Gurudev, that gopis are sharing their separation mood each other. So one gopi is telling to others, Mandu lage na ghana saam bina. O Sakhi, our mind is not fixed in any household job. Why not? Because our life and soul, Samsundar is not here. He was like our soulmate. If you have no soul, you have no life here in your body, then your body is useless. In the same way, Krishna's life was all broad. So now he is not in broad, so everything like cipher. And gopis are telling another gopis to others, listen, when you are going anywhere, like we are going to Jamunaji, to fill up our pitcher for, with water. When you used to go, then the Pangat, Pangat means Gopis and Krishna, as before Krishna was in Braj, they promised we shall meet here in this particular place. When they used to go, Krishna used to meet with them, but now no one is there. So Srila Rupa Sahipada explained, once on Gopis went to fetch water in the Jamuna, and Gopis was alone, and Krishna came and checked her. Then Gopis told, don't disturb me. My mother-in-law, sister-in-law, father-in-law, all are waiting for me to water. Don't disturb, let me go as soon as possible. Krishna not allowed to go her. Then Gopis told, Gopi told, if you not let me go, then I shall give up my life. Then why? Krishna told, oh, no need to you give up life, I shall give up life for you. What is meaning? So Rupa Goswami Pada explained in Ujjal Nilmani. We have told one after another book is coming. So one name of water is life. So life means jivan. So Gopi want to give up his life. Krishna is meaning that Gopi want to give up the water from his pitcher. So Krishna told, oh no need to have do so much top effort. I can throw the water from your pitcher and meet and can joke with you. So gopis are telling, Krishna is to ridicule so many ways. So now the Panghat is like, Saipa, no one is, no Ghanasam is there. So he has a feeling of separation. And Gopa Balak sab tarap rahe hain. All the Sokhas, they are lamenting so much. They used to go for cow grazing, neither cow are going, cows are going, nor the cows are going. So why? They are looking towards Krishna's way, that Krishna went this way. So all Sakhas and others, when, are, he, will when he will come back. Even Sridham promised, unless until Krishna will not come back, I will not come back to Braj. So he was weeping so bitterly, he came to Sridham Bhat near Bhandirvan. Whoever attend Brajamandal Parikrama, they can see Sridham Bhai is still there. When Mahaprabhu came, then Siddham understood his Krishna, then Mahaprabhu embraced him, then his separation mood subside. Though Sankhas and others' separation mood is not so high like gopis. And gopis, they like mad, sometimes they became faint. So none one was there to console them properly. Still they are separating their mood, sharing their mood each other. But for Krishna, no one is there to share his separation for gopis. So, Krishna, Uttam is sent by Krishna to Braj. What he saw there, now Guru will explain. Hare Krishna. <coughs> now, Tama play. They should be ready all players. Next, they should begin their drama. So, Krishna is weeping, taking the hands of Uttam. Gacha Uddhav Prajam Swami. Oh, Uddhav is a good one. And pacify my father and mother, especially Gopi, who life and soul am. Anyhow, they are keeping their lives only to waiting me, my Return, otherwise they will 
because I have told them that I am coming very soon after two or three days. So they believe in Krishna word. So they are with me. Uddhav. When is there? But the, he was not admitted in his school of movies. He fell in test. But he went to his school. He did pranam to the teachers and professors. Who was the principal? Radhika was principal. And who were professors? Lalita Vishakha. Who were teachers? Rup Manjari, Rati Manjari and others. And he did, and he saw their condition all burning in mirror. Separation mode. And when he returned back to Krishna, and he began to chastise Krishna. You must go there, otherwise all the cops and cows and gopis and goats and brindabashi will be all. I could not be admitted in that school. I have one, I have come only to take you to Braja. So I will this, thus, this, explain all these things tomorrow. Today you should know that Uddhav is Prem Atur Premi. Prem Atur Bhav. Prem Atur means Prematur man, mad in prem. Prematur, part meaning. Prematur, mad after prem. It may be somewhat. And gopis, they are not any kind of a, they are himself Krishna. Not other than Krishna. Heart of Krishna. They are Eternal associates of Braja of Krishna. There is really there is no separation. But in this Bhom Vrindava, how means this? Hmm. Or oh, they are feeling like this. And this is momentary. We don't want separation that Krishna and Radhika and gopis and Krishna should feel separation. Do you want? I discuss. From Tatastha, neutral position, it is seen that Virah is so highest. But as a Prajbasi Drishtikon, vision of Prajbasi, Anyone does not want that there should be separation between Brajvasi and Brajvasi should die. Do you want? So those suppression mood is very high for whom? Those who are neutral. But those who are Brajvasi really or those who want to be Brajvasi, to follow Brajvasi. We never want that there should be separation for a moment with Radhika and Krishna. Because this is our goal to be the Dashi, met servant of Radhika. And met servant like Rupmanjari, Rati Manjari. They don't want that there should be separation. Go Pramanam. So after